Hey there, party people. Before I go on, I would like to emphasize that I am not an electrician. I'm not a master at any of this stuff. I'm barely an electronics amateur, I would say. Um, and that being said, do this stuff at your own risk um, and be safe because if you make a mistake with this kind of stuff, it's going to be a bad one. And that being said, I hope this isn't the last video I ever make. Okay, so let's get to it. What I have is coming from the socket, I have this wire. There's two black wires from the power supply. I have those tied together and wired into the hot side, which is the shorter pin on an AC socket. Then there's two red wires coming from there, and I have those run into the um, neutral side, which is the longer slot. There's also a green wire, which is ground, which is the third pin on a socket, and I have that connected to this little terminal here, and then off onto the chassis, because I don't have this in an enclosure right now. Um, also on the black wires, um, that is the hot side, I have a 12 amp slow burn glass fuse. You can kind of make it out over here, right, like right here in the corner. Um, I was just I was told on the forums that that would be a good idea just in case something goes wrong. They actually wanted a, what is it, a contactor, but I don't even know what that is, so I'll get to that one day. All right, moving on. The outputs of this, that it's an interesting story because I was told in order to get 72 volts DC, I would have to wire these things in series. And you'll see this green wire right here, going from here to here. Basically what that's doing is that's connecting the um, negative side of the left channel to the positive side of the right channel um, and in essence doubling the voltage and what I notice is that okay so now that would make the negative on this side and the positive on this side um, would then go to the motors and all that but um, what I'm noticing is that if I go ahead and touch these um, that's, I don't know if you can read it, let me move it over, but it's coming out to be 138.2 volts, uh, 0.1. That's too much voltage for me. Um, the geckos, I believe, only take up to 80. So anybody out there, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably going to remove this jumper. Now, the thing is that each side has a plus, a plus, a C, a negative, and a negative. Same thing on this side. Plus plus C negative negative on the terminals and if I just touch on one side uh, the negative and the positive together if you can make it out I get 69.1 now if I touch the C which is either common or center I don't know if somebody could um, put that together for me and let me know that would be great I get 34.62 interesting thing if I do the same thing up here connect these two the positive and the C I get 34.6 ish. Same thing on this side. Um, black to C, or sorry, uh, negative to C. I get 34.9. And then over here, uh, 34.36 ish. Uh, this side also puts out, if I just connect negative to positive, it gets you the 69.2. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to just run two geckos on this side, two geckos on this side, and get rid of this jumper. Um, so basically the geckos will be getting the, how much was it again? Let's see, 69 volts. Um, that's not too bad, I don't think. So two on this side, two on that side, and be done with it. If somebody could clarify any of this stuff, like what the C stands for, how it's used, that would be great. Otherwise not, I'm just going to do positive and negative to two geckos, positive and negative to another two geckos.